a South African woman took to TikTok and uh, told a story about how she was attacked by her landlord and his sons. Now, she moved to Croatia for whatever reason, I do not know. But she said that she complained about a shower that was leaking. And I guess the landlord got mad when he came over and he started to throw her out along with her sons. Now, she posted a video of her, you know, crying. It's kind of disturbing to listen to, so I won't um, play that here. But so she said when she, you know, was thrown out, she came back to retrieve her things. And this is what happened. <coughs> Mommy, they just attacked me, num tuanam. This man attacked me and my kid with his street, his two boys, family. He attacked me with his kids and he hit his I came to get my stuff and this guy attacked me with his kid. So as you saw there, uh, she was on the porch crying and she said that she was attacked by the landlord. You can see him kind of walking through uh, some of the video and his two sons. Again, she was trying to go get her stuff. Now, she said that she has talked to the embassy about what happened to her. They took her story. Not sure what happened from that point, uh, but she is, you know, looking for somebody to help her. Now, I want to say this. I, for the life of me, whether you are from South Africa, you are from America, you're from the Caribbeans, and you look like us, why are we going to those people's places? Croatia sounds very white. It sounds cold, too. I don't know why. It just sounds cold, maybe because of the people there. But stop going over there to those people's places. Be amongst your people. I've been to South Africa. It's beautiful. It's beautiful because the black people are beautiful. They're very nice. They're very warm and friendly. Nice place to be. But to go to Croatia, listen, I don't care where you go. I don't, don't, do not believe that does, you deserve that at all. So I'm not saying that. I hope that they are held accountable. And she did another video where uh, she was talking to the police. And she said that they confiscated her uh, license and they wouldn't give it back to her. And she also said they told her to go back to Africa. So it sounds like everybody in Croatia is on that BS. So again, dear young sister, if you see this, I hope that you have made your way back to South Africa by the um, by now. And if you haven't, please make your way back there. Croatia is not a place for you. I never want to see you on the internet crying because it's very heartbreaking um, to watch that and uh, your babies are um, watching that happen to you. So please go back, to, uh, go back home until you find another place you want to be that is not like Croatia. Because, yeah, apparently they are very racist there. And the, and the guy had a very smug look on his face. He's just standing there looking at her, you know, whatever the case is. And so he knows that he's among his folks. And his folks look like him. And they move like him. And they think like him. Not like you, dear young sister. So please go back home, far away from racist people in Croatia. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.